Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you two healthy recipes which I have really been enjoying lately. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll jump straight into it. First off, we have a chickpea and noodle salad. Where we've got some kale in this salad, so I'm going to take the juice of half a lemon and then start cutting the kale. As you can see, I'm going to leave out the spine and just cut straight around it. I use six large kale leaves and then I cut it into very small pieces because kale is pretty chewy. Then I use the juice of the other half of the lemon and some Himalayan salt and I'm just going to massage that in just so it is a nicer texture and flavour by the time we get to eat it. Now I'm just going to move that aside and let it sit on its own. I'm going to take 50 grams of rice vermicelli and some boiled water and just let that sit as well. After a couple of minutes I'll come back and I'll use some scissors just to cut it up into smaller pieces. Now, once that bowl is sitting aside in a fry pan, I'm taking one onion and I'm just going to chop that up really finely and put that in with some olive oil. I'm going to allow those to cook for about five minutes and then I'm going to add in one can of chickpeas which have been rinsed previously. Then I'm adding in some onion salt, some paprika and some curry powder. Just add in as much as you like to taste. Now I'm just going to make a really simple dressing for the salad. I'm taking about three tablespoons of avocado oil and half a teaspoon of sesame oil and I'm just going to mix that together. Uh, that's enough dressing for two people. After the chickpeas have been cooking for 20 minutes, I'm going to pull them off the stove and add in two large tablespoons of pad thai paste and just mix that all around. I'm going to pop it back on the stove for about another five minutes while I'm just assembling the rest of this salad. So I'm assembling it with some baby spinach, then we've got our kale which had been sitting in that lemon juice. I've grated up some carrot to put with it as well and then I'm adding in the noodles and I'm just going to keep layering this until I have as much as I like. Then on the top I'm going to add those cooked chickpeas. And that's how simple that one is. So just a nice easy salad which is quite warm and tasty. Next we have a sushi bowl. I'll be showing you the one with the salmon here that you can see in the front. I'm taking 1.5 cups of black rice. So black rice is really high in antioxidants. It's also gluten free for those of you who can't have gluten. So 1.5 cups of black rice and then 3 cups of water because we're going to use double the amount of water to what we've used for the rice. In a bowl, while I've got the rice cooking for about 40 minutes, I'm going to put some rocket, some spinach, and I'm going to cut up half an avocado per person. Then I'm just taking some skinless salmon. I'm going to chop that into a few pieces. I believe I had about eight pieces of salmon. And I'm going to let it sit on a plate with the juice of half a lemon as well. Just let that sit on its own for about five minutes. Once the rice is cooked, so after about 40 minutes, I'm going to put that on top of the leaves that I've got. And then I've got some dried nori, so dried seaweed. I've got a couple of packets of that and I'm just going to break apart and cut apart a few of those pieces just to pop it in with the salad. So it's a little bit like a deconstructed sushi bowl. So once I've got the nori, I've got the lettuce leaves just to fill it up a little bit. My black rice and my salmon sitting there as well. And Bo is allergic to seafood, so he made a little variation of it and he used some chicken. So I hope you enjoyed both these recipes. Let me know in the comments below which recipe did you like? Recipe A, the chickpea salad, or recipe B, the sushi salad. If you want a written version of these, you can find them on my blog and I will leave the links in the description for you. 